side of the um, river now. I'm still in Runnymede, but I'm in a bit of a uh, hope and things, right? I'm in Anchorwick, Anchorwick, hopefully, <laughs> um, which is the other side of the river. And what's really cool here is that um, there's a yew tree where supposedly um, Henry VIII proposed to Anne Boleyn under it. So I'm going to go there. Um, and then also as well, there is a priory, um, that, a medieval priory, which was actually around when the Magna Carta was signed. So it's from the, kind of the 12th century. Um, and there's just a little bit of it, a little tiny bit of it left. Um, so I'm going to go and kind of visit those places. I'm really sorry if I seem a little bit nervous <laughs> because there's a ball here somewhere. <laughs> there was no signs everywhere going, "Be aware of the ball." <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, I don't see him. Um, yeah. So <laughs> when I get there. <laughs> Hopefully I will. Um, then I will let you know <laughs> and I'll give you some more kind of history behind the yew tree as well. All right, so <laughs> see you in a minute. <laughs> Might take a little bit longer than I thought because uh, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, I've never been here before, so I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. I'm just gonna because this looks nice. There's like a row of trees behind me and it looks nice. So I'm just gonna follow them and see uh, where I get to. All right, <laughs> see you again soon. I am here, I found my way. And uh, right behind me um, is actually St. Mary's Priory. Now, as you can see, not much there left. <laughs> Uh, very much kind of dilapidated but then again you know it was from the 12th century so Psst, yeah um, but it would have played kind of some kind of role anyway in um, the time of the Magna Carta because it was around then um, so you know you would have had the monks or the abbesses I actually don't know actually what kind of <laughs> priory it was um, but you would have had them anyway here and you know the barons and the lords and um even the king but potentially i don't know but potentially could have come here i mean there is arguments to suggest that actually the magna carta because they don't know actually where it was uh, signed so there is actually arguments to say that it was signed on this side of the river rather than on the other side where i did my video um so there is kind of a no one knows and if only these trees could talk <laughs> um but yeah i mean they imagine the kind of the story they would tell would be amazing um but anyway i just yeah i wanted to kind of show you this uh before i leave and then i'm gonna show you the the yew tree as well uh which is famous because obviously well yeah uh henry the eighth supposedly proposed to Anne Boleyn there. Um, I mean, they did definitely go there because again, they would have come to this monastery as well. Um, so they would have come actually come to here too. Um, and because it's very, very close. They are actually very, very close. It's literally just that way, <laughs> the yew tree. Um, so the fact, yeah, the fact is, I mean, again, there's no evidence suggests that he did propose to her here um, but it is a lovely lovely place and we are kind of by the river and it is kind of a romantic place and he was a romantic even though he did kill a lot of his wives <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm gonna end on that though <laughs> um, so yeah stick around because I will show you the yew tree next behind me yeah. Here is the yew tree that is said to be the famous one where uh, King Henry VIII of England um, proposed to uh, <laughs> Queen Anne, there we go, Anne Boleyn, <laughs> got that. Um, it's so cute, so let's just put the ribbon. <laughs> oh, yeah, so cute. Um, but you can see though, you can see 
how cool, um, if I can just get closer, you can see actually how cool the, <laughs> the U-tree is. I mean, that's funky. It's absolutely massive as well. So again, as I said, there's no actual evidence to suggest that he did <laughs> propose here, um, but there is evidence to suggest that they did come here, and there is evidence to suggest it was the time when he was chasing her <laughs> because she basically wouldn't put out to him. <laughs> so uh, there. <laughs> so kind of timeline period, it fits together. Um, and again, you know, I. Can't can kind of, I can see it because <laughs> I'm a little hopeless romantic. I mean, obviously, they it didn't end well for Andalyn, <laughs> but um, I am a hopeless romantic and I do kind of like, I don't know, I see this as a place that potentially someone could ask someone to marry <laughs> um, just because it's so lovely here and so quiet and peaceful and behind me. And the, and the ball <laughs> that I've been trying to avoid um, and also just because of the fact this tree is it's pretty cool <laughs> it's pretty it's, it's pretty cool it is huge um, absolutely huge and uh, just gonna go up and up and up and it just has all these bits kind of like sticking out it and then like look at that that's completely hollow but it's like got little bits growing it's all twisted really for me from Runnymede uh, for today um, I don't think there's anything else <laughs> um, but as I said I do come here quite often so I will probably put up at some point a video of um, a video of the REF <laughs> memorial uh, which is for the English and the French troops and I think it's from the First World War, or potentially the Second World War, I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool place as well, it's a cool place as well. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, as I said, I hope you have a really lovely day, and um, I look forward, and I'm really, I hope you, you are enjoying my videos, and I look forward to speaking to you guys again soon. Thank you very much. Bye!